guardians. We are the intruders here. What's going on, y'all? Neo Synapse for the Super Powered Review, bringing you another Destiny video. April 12th marks the download date for the April 2.2.0 update for Destiny. Assuming you own the Taken King, this update will be free of charge. So uh, let's get right into what we're going to be seeing here. Um, this update will be delivered by the live team of Destiny. Uh, you'll remember them. They're, they're the ones that did the Crimson and SRL, those uh, little updates there. But this will be the largest deliverable the live team has ever provided. They've worked with the Crucible team for some of the new things that we're going to be talking about. And uh, all of this we learned on the uh, live stream that Bungie did <clears throat> on Wednesday, which is the first of three, one a week every Wednesday, 11 o'clock uh, Pacific time. Tune in to find out more as the uh, weeks go by. So uh, what are we looking at here? We're looking at a new light level cap of 335 up from 320. New bounties, including new ones from Varix that'll rotate weekly and you will be getting uh, Halls of Judgment or House of Judgment, excuse me reputation for completing those. A new quest line, a new mission for the quest line, and even a new strike. Uh, PoE has brought has been brought up to end game level and they've added a challenge mode to uh, the Prison of Elders. The Winter's Run strike, you'll remember the Archon Priest, um, has been brought to end game level as well and he will be taken. There's going to be a new Eververse trading console in the Reef. And like in uh, <clears throat> Trials of Osiris, where you buy the card, and that uh, that basically is your ticket into the Trials of Osiris, there is a new Elder's Sigil, which is basically the same thing, that is your ticket into the challenge mode of Prison of Elders. Um, it basically is good for a week, unless you delete it. Uh, Petra, she grants the unique PlayStation mission fight fire with fire so uh, crucible updates sandbox updates all that other stuff those will be discussed um, probably in the third live stream in a couple weeks um, and the second week will be basically gear and stuff like that but for this week um, we wanted to talk to you about what's going on with the prison of, of elders first of all Oryx was defeated obviously but the taken still proved to be a threat not to be taken lightly after the reef was decimated, Varix began imprisoning Taken in the Prison of Elders. Uh, so Varix is going to be the point man for your storyline in this new update as far as Prison of Elders is concerned. <clears throat> uh, Varix has heard about another person, excuse me, not person, another monster who's trying to take Oryx's throne since he's been defeated and he wants you to investigate it. This enemy is known as Malak. So all of you uh, trying to get the grasp of Malak from uh, the Omnigul strike, boom, you know who I'm talking about, right? So during the live stream, a super nervous, super fidgety, and super excited senior designer, Tim Williams, helped Deed showcase what's new for the Prison of Elders. Uh, the, the new level 41 Prison of Elders will be match made and have a recommended light level of 260. There's also a Taken version uh, of this mode with four new Taken bosses, and you have a 50% 50, 50 chance of getting a normal or a Taken boss. If you beat this new PoE, um, you can open the chests at the bottom as many times as you want during the week without the need for keys. So basically, <clears throat> you go in, you do Prison of Elders, you get down, do your chest opening dance, and you can go back in right after if you want to do another round. You're not limited by anything um, to get down there and open up those chests. Now the gear that will be in there will get you up to 320. So basically they're using this to get people up to speed who, you know, maybe they don't have the best of luck in raids and things like that. This is another way you can get up to 320. Once you've hit 320, you can play the level 42 challenge of elders that drops gear that will get you to 335 light. If you pull up the sigil we were talking about earlier, it will show you uh, what extra points can be earned by doing various tasks. 
So if it says, you know, precision kills give you more points this week, then ob obviously that's how your score will be modified. The more precision kills you have, the more points you'll get. If you abide by the modifiers, you'll increase the score. These modifiers will um, be fresh every week for a month. Scorecards last a week, like in trials. Scores are tabulated by team and not by individual. There are two bonus uh, score levels to, to achieve, high score and the, commu and the uh, cumulative score. If you reach the amount necessary to achieve the high score, barracks will give you a weapon. That's 30,000. Armor awaits the uh, cumulative score achievement. So basically, you get to 30,000, you get a weapon from Varric's, you get to 90,000 cumulative, and you get um, some armor from him. That is on top of the end of activity rewards that you'll get regardless of whether or not you get uh, 30,000 or 90,000 um, points. So look out for that. Uh, let's see, what else can we tell you here? Um, each round has a five minute timer. Barracks begins to take away points if you've gone over the time. So once five minutes is up, uh, he starts to take, slowly take away points even as you accrue more points. Um, kind of a diminishing returns sort of deal. Now there are several ways to get points. Um, basically one of the things that they worked on is some supers don't really give um, you know that much damage or they don't kill that well or that, that kind of thing, like the defender bubble you you don't kill anything with that basically so the orbs that you create will also count to um the points for the system that they have created here um also bounties bounties that you get from wherever will um <clears throat> be updated in here so if you get a vanguard bounty about killing taken and there are taken in the prison of elders that you're doing it'll count there as well. Also, engrams are now dropping in the Prison of Elders when you kill things, so it's probably a good place to farm engrams uh, as well. Now, the scores reset uh, at the end of the previous round, uh, so you can't farm points. If you if you wipe, then whatever score you had before you got into the round that you wiped on is what your score will go back down to. Um, good news, PoE will now have checkpoints. Uh, they didn't really go into detail about that, so I don't know how exactly it's going to work. But um, that's good news. A lot of people were complaining about that. They wanted to see that, so PoE will now have checkpoints. Um, old bosses have gained new abilities to keep things fresh. And um, also, you can get more points if you do assists. So, you know, if somebody starts killing an ad and then you get the precision headshot if that's the modifier this week then you'll get the points for that precision kill plus the assist points um, from the assist obviously so what else uh, scores are only recorded at the end of the activity so you can't leave and come back and expect to have your points remain the way they were or, or accrue in that way okay um, that's basically it as far as what's going to happen with uh, Prison of Elders. A couple of things we saw in some screenshots that were dropped. I'm hoping they're going to talk about those next time. Um, looks like there's going to be a Taken Shader. It looks like there's going to be a new sword. It might be Taken. I don't know. Some weapons seem to have a Taken-ish vibe to them. And I'm pretty excited about that. That was one of the things that I really, really wanted to see from the Taken King that I did not see. Um, is this a good update? It is free. I will take it. Um, we've been longing for some content, so this will have to do until whatever they have next for us. Some of these things should have been in there from the beginning, in my opinion. Um, but beggars can't be choosers. Again, this is free. If you don't like it, don't play it. Go we'll play something else. The, um, the Division is out. Wonderful game. We've got videos of that on the channel, too. Um, Batman v Superman came out the other day. What? That just, it, it was so good. So good. Fantastic stuff. Uh, despite all the problems and despite the uh, ridiculous critical reception for that movie, it, it was nowhere near as bad as they were making it out to be. Though it did have its flaws. You can check out my review on the channel as well. 
I'll be doing a video about next week's live stream. So keep it locked here for uh, Destiny, The Division, Street Fighter, movie reviews, lots of stuff. All right. See y'all next time inside the review.